Optics, totally fried. And let's not even talk about the power supply. You know how expensive this gear is, son? Tell that to the Covenant. You know how expensive this gear is, son? No! Power armor is extremely prolific in science fiction universes, and for good reason. It supposedly allows you to endow ordinary people with superhuman capabilities, all while being fairly practical, all things considered. But is power armor actually a practical military concept? I was asked this question on the videos I made comparing tanks and mechs. And the short version is yes. I do think power armor will have a place in the battlefields of the future, just not in the ways that people probably think. This was a fairly simple question to answer, because militaries are already doing tests involving exoskeletons, which lay the groundwork for power armor systems. Right now, exoskeletons are being tested for use in the logistics role. The idea is that you can use an exoskeleton to allow a person not only to carry heavier loads, but also to avoid injuring themselves while doing it. But what if you applied exoskeletons in the combat role? What would the advantages be there? People often think, oh, exoskeletons could let a soldier punch straight through a guy, or handle a minigun like it was nothing. While I'm sure these are somewhat possible, they're not exactly practical or useful. If exoskeletons were to be used in combat, they would be used to increase endurance, armor protection, and carrying capacity more than anything else. I imagine that increased endurance and carrying capacity would be the main reasons. So exoskeletons could possibly see widespread use by infantry, but what about power armor? Well, power armor presents a few issues. Exoskeletons amplify a wearer's strength, but when you begin adding a ton of armor onto it, you start to get diminishing returns. Power armor with enough protection to be totally protected against bullets would likely make the wearer slower and less dexterous than a regular person. But that isn't to say that power armor wouldn't have some applications. I can think of a few, and I think this will become less of an issue as technology improves. Power armor would likely be fairly useful in EOD, breaching, combat engineering, and crowd control. For EOD work, power armor could offer much more protection than the bomb suit while offering a similar amount of dexterity. Since the armor is already powered, you could also equip it with sensors and cameras that could be fed back to a remote location, so the guy defusing the explosive can get some advice. In the case of an explosion, the power armor's spine could lock up, preventing injury if the EOD tech was thrown by a blast. Current bomb suits have a solid rod in the back for this very purpose, but a suit of smart power armor could relax the system for more dexterity when there isn't an explosion, and lock it up when there is. Power armor's benefits for breaching are pretty clear. If you have to clear a room, send the power armor guy in first to soak up any potential shots, and keep the enemy distracted, while the rest of your guys filter in. It's sort of like the concept of a breakthrough tank, just scaled down. This is really the only direct combat role I can see power armor fulfilling. As far as combat engineering goes, power armor could offer a couple of benefits. First, the added strength would be good for dealing with heavy materials. Second, it's pretty hard to do your job while you're being shot at. Ideally, the other units in the area should be covering combat engineers. But that doesn't at all guarantee that someone isn't going to take pot shots at them. Power armor would give combat engineers a bit more peace of mind while on the job. Finally, if a unit was deployed for crowd control purposes, power armor would be a very effective way of forming a barrier. Just line up a bunch of power armor guys across the street and have them stand there. That alone would be intimidating, but the armor would also protect the unit from anything short of a Molotov cocktail. If the unit doesn't have to worry about getting hurt, then they're less inclined to act violently as well. It's a win-win. So to sum it all up, power armor's primary use will likely be in indirect combat roles. Because for a while, it will be difficult to build a suit of power armor that can offer significant increases in strength, protection, and mobility, while still being practical. That's about all I have to say on the subject for now. I'll likely make a second part to this video in order to take a deeper look, but I think this video should suffice for now. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.